I'm getting ready to hit the road to Texas and I have two unboxings I'm going to do before I get on the road and then I'm going to have several unboxings on the or along the way and the one of those is the trolling motor. I got the power pole move trolling motor. So you'll see that here in a second. An amazing trolling motor. Wow, what what a specimen. It truly is. But the other one is the sticks fishing rods. I want to go ahead and put these in my rod locker. So I'm going to bust them up here at my house before I hit on the road. But take a look at these rods from sticks. Come in the pretty tube. Logos on it. First thing you'll notice when you're unpacking their rods is professional level packaging. They take care of the rods. That means you're getting a product that's in one piece when you get it. And that kind of care means they know what they're doing at the warehouse, including making the rods. I saved you the boringness of taking off the bubble wrap, but this is what you get when you get a sticks pack. You get six rods to do everything you need to do. The only thing I actually have rods for throwing three and four ounce glide baits. But other than that, this gets these get the job done. Um, first things first, starting at the bottom, we have a, they're, they're numbered by power. So just remember that when you're using these rods, they're numbered by power. So number one is their lightest action and number six is their heaviest. So it's one through six. So number one, their medium light. I don't even like to call it a medium light. It's it's technically a medium light, seven foot six uh, spinning rod. They're number one. But it, it actually, to me, fishes like a medium up until the last six inches of it. And then it has a little light tip. But it's actually a pretty stout rod up until that point. Super great for drop shots, um, uh, Ned rigs, uh, little Demiki baits, anything that's super light. This right here being a 7.6 allows you to cast really far. Having that tip where seven foot of it is pretty medium-ish and then having that light tip allows this rod to be uh, super effective at uh, giving those, those sweeping uh, soft hook sets without breaking your line, but to be able to put it in that big fish's mouth. So 7.6, medium light spinning rod, that's the number one. Next up is the number two. And like I said, this is going from strongest power to, to I mean from weakest, lowest power to highest power. So obviously stepping up would be the medium seven foot two, number two sticks uh, spinning rod. This is my go-to rod for all the things that I'm gonna be fishing on eight pound floor carp. I mean, uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon, 12 pound fluorocarbon. I'm gonna be bouncing up a little bit. This is what I'm gonna use this for. Skipping docks uh, with wacky rigs, with a heavy shaky head. Um, works really good for uh, throwing those baits that are a little heavier, like a, a jerk bait or, or stuff like that. Anything that I'm gonna be a little, need a little more power and need a little less soft tip. I uh, wanna drive that hook home if I'm throwing a Demiki rig with a jig head that just has a heavier gauge hook. This is what I'm gonna use. My number two, seven two, uh, medium, this rod right here. And, and even though it's a medium, I actually feel like it's more like a medium heavy-ish um, rod because it does have plenty of backbone. Don't think of a, a I've had some mediums that are really soft. This one's got a, a good little bit of backbone. So uh, still super light, amazing stick rods. Fuji components, this is number two. The number three, uh, if you noticed on that one, the number two, it is purplish. They're all color coded. It's purplish color. It used to be blue. And this rod, see the blue right there, the seven foot medium, this rod used to be blue with it because they were called the hybrid rods. 
I catch a lot of fish on the 7-2 spinning rod and this seven foot medium because it's such a multi-purpose rod. It's very good for anything. It's like a um, quarter to three eighth ounce, uh, anything you can think of, crankbaits, jerkbaits, uh, jig heads, it, This these rods do it. But this one and that one got a color difference now so that you can keep track a little better. So you're not picking up the wrong rod on the deck. So they just made that more of a purplish color. This one's still the blue color that originally was. Uh, but sticks fishing, seven foot, medium. Uh, and it's kind of a medium-ish heavy. It's not really that light. It's great for jerk baits, but it's not like a noodle. Um, that's just the way they designed them. I like that more. I don't like really soft rods. So seven foot medium. This is the number three. Uh, you can see the number codes are right there. I don't know if I said that yet. The number codes are on the bottom, so you can keep track of them. But number three, first of the bait casting line, perfect drop. I mean, a uh, jerk bait rod, perfect jerk bait rod, really is. Obviously, next is number four. So the number four. Now this is a little. This is where you know. This is the number four. You can see it right there. Stamp on the bottom. This is the number four. This one goes up to the top length. So it's a 7.6. Seven, six, a 7.6 seven, six medium heavy. And you'll see the number five here in a second. It goes down to 7.2. So these are not length based. These numbers are not length based. They are truly just power based. So this being the number four, it has a little less power than that number five. It's not as stiff a rod. But being a medium heavy, 7.6, this rod right here is your deep cranking rod. Oh gosh, this thing right here will bomb a three quarter ounce deep diving crankbait a mile being 7.6 medium heavy. Um, and it's very similar to the number one where it's a lot of power in the front of it. And then on the tip, it has a little soft tip. And what that does for that deep cranking off uh, for top waters, big top waters, like a, a big czar spook or anything like that. What that does is it allows you to load up on that fish with those treble hooks without jerking it out of the fish. I have found that the hookup ratio with these rods is phenomenal through the roof. Uh, but this is the number four, seven, six, medium heavy, um, amazing rod or for trapping too. I, I love anything that's a heavier, style treble hook bait this is the jam number four medium heavy seven foot six all right moving on to obviously number five and like i said number five is a seven foot four i don't know why i said seven two seven foot four medium heavy but because it is the number five um you see it right there number five I can tell this rod's got a little bit more power, a little bit more power than the last one. Um, and it might be just because the, the two inches of the tip's not as soft. You just don't feel it. But I do feel like this one's got a little more power. This one has become my go-to if you are a spinnerbait, chatterbait, uh, Texas rig type of guy. This is the rod you want. Seven foot four, medium heavy, um, does an amazing job for all those things. You throw a half ounce spinnerbait on this, you're gonna have a lot of fun because this one right here straight snatches them. Um, same co Fuji components, uh, same everything. All these rods across the board are high quality. Uh, the, f the foam grips, um, uh, fill through blank, everything you could want in a rod. This is the number five. And like I said, this is that uh, universal go-to for a half ounce Chatterbait, spinnerbait, Texas, any of that stuff, this will get the rod, uh, job done. Great rod. I use this one a lot. All right, and last but not least, and this rod uh, is the number six. Number six, you see it right there. The number six. This rod right here is your beefcake. This is the one you're gonna use for flipping, for Alabama rig fishing, for Carolina rig fishing, 
for uh, this this the Mega Bass and and Spro Megalodon the those type of swim baits. This is that rod. Um, it gets the job done for that heavier rod set and. I really don't know how to explain this rod because this rod is a lot different than other companies. Other companies, either when they get to a, a heavy, this is a seven six heavy. When they get to a heavy, it almost feels like a lot of rod companies have a super stiff heavy, or they have a heavy that's kind of like the whole rod bends. It's stout but the whole rod bends. This is kind of a perfect in-between. It's really stout on the butt. It has, I wouldn't even call it a limber tip. It has like a, just a parabolic tip. The tip bends with the, the what you're doing with the hook set and with everything, but this rod is a beast. It's very stout, um, super sensitive. These rods are all lightweight and the 7.6 heavy, um, the heaviest one in the lineup, it's no different. It's super light. And for things like uh, a one or two ounce swim bait, um, for things like a Carolina rig, you want sensitivity. You want it to be lightweight because you want to be able to feel that tick. You know, Carolina rig, a lot of times the fish grabs it and comes with you. And you got to feel that some way through a three quarter ounce or one ounce weight. Uh, this rod allows you to feel and detect those bites. Uh, phenomenal rod. It ends up the lineup. Um, it's the last one for power, uh, number six. But this one is a heavy fisherman uh, dream because it's super lightweight and very sensitive, but has plenty of backbone to jack those big ones. So that's the sticks lineup. Well, here we are. Got the power pole move. Uh, if you want a breakdown of how to install this or features about this, uh, John Cruz has some great YouTube videos talking about this. He has a full install video. A power pole does too, but go check those out. I'm going to link those down below, but I'm going to give you a little unboxing of what it looks like inside. So when you open it up, oh, it's got a cool, cool banner. That's pretty cool. And then it's got the template. And then all of the gadgets, and it's packed really nice. Power pole move. It's the next big thing. So here we are, Bristol, Tennessee, making a quick stop, and I'm going to do the next unboxing right here. We have got the goods missile baits gotta have a box of missile baits if you're going to a tournament so you can get them at anglers choice marine you can get them at bass pro shops you can get them at most retailers in the u.s because they are made in america uh john cruz and the team there and missile baits making phenomenal products so if you want something made in america that'll catch big bass get you some missile baits they will do it but I've kept my selection simple this year because I, I love all their products. I caught bass on most all of their products, but I've got some that I'm really just like drawn to and have so much confidence in. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you here. So first off, Chunky D's. Yes, these baits are named after me. I am gaining a little weight because uh, I, I've been eating pretty good. Fishing has been amazing. God has been blessing me. So, Chunky D right there. Um, got them in a pile of different colors. Let's see, piles, piles, piles of different colors. This one right here, the white pearl on a white jackhammer. Phenomenal bait that one secret that is phenomenal but anyways getting back to the unboxing um next bait is one that i have put so much money in my bank account on if you're not throwing it yet you need to start because if you dive into who's cashing checks who's winning tournaments um 
missile baits pro staff this bait right here is doing a lot of damage and that is the magic worms blueback secret uh i got a bunch of different colors in here let me see a bunch of them well these are up oh, i'll show you that one yet watermelon violet two of my favorite colors john's juice john won the elite series on the saint john's river with this one you cannot go wrong with the missile magic worms i got two different sizes now so it depends on what you're fishing for um i'm going to a lot of largemouth fisheries this year i love the six inch for that for your uh, spotted bass fisheries the four inch is my choice so you just i got a bunch of them that is a proven winner so i'm keeping it simple this year i'm going with the proven winners for me the ones that i have confidence out the roof with because that's going to help me fish better on the water and those are two of them chunky d missile magic worm the next ones um i have a lot of confidence in in one of them and then i have confidence that it's something the fish haven't seen and i'm going to try it this year i'm really going to put a lot of energy into fishing it in different places because it's the new hotness it is going to be a killer in a bunch of different ways so here they are first one the spunk shads spunk shad by missile bait um this is a collaboration with hog farmer to give you the same um spunk shads that hog farmer is famous for this right here is their spunk shad i've got it in the 5.5 i got it in 4.5 i got it in 3.5 i got all different sizes for your demiki rigging for your chatter baiting for your uh so many scrounger heads so many different ways you want to present a swim bait style bait but without the kick of the tail and what that allows it to do is to be a little more subtle but also it allows it to um, on chatter bait it allows that bait to hunt more so there's different ways that this bait can be applied um, if you're a fan of swim baits you need to check out the spunk shads because it is just an alternative if you if you've fished an area a bunch and you've been clobbering them on a swim bait put a spunk shad on try it i guarantee you you'll get more bites spunk shads are real deal my biggest bag last year 2023 my biggest five fish it wasn't in a tournament unfortunately my biggest five fish ever in my life was caught last year on the spunk shad so need to check them out and then lastly this is the one that is new to my arsenal super excited to be throwing this this year because it's gonna be something the fish haven't seen it's gonna be something new to those pressured fish that they they are seeing everything and they're getting really smart and educated this bait right here is gonna close the deal on those fish the bombas yes the bombas are you see it right there they're just a straight they're called poop style baits because they look like a turd. I mean, come on out. You, you gotta have that in your boat. I mean, who doesn't want poop in their boat? But anyways, this boat, this bait right here, what I like about it is it's so streamlined, small, finesse. And finesse game with these pressure bodies of water we go to is a player. And this bait being that way, but it's also in that poop bait category and what the poop bait category is designed for it's designed to have a lot of weight mass to a small profile and that allows you to use it for a pitching bait allows you to use it for a, a weightless glide bait it, it does some weird action as it falls on its own no weight on it um, just the ewg hook um, this bait's also going to be dynamite on uh Texas rig, Carolina rig, all your different rigs that you want to use something that's like a like a French fry or a Cinco or you know the, the traditional baits we use. This is the alternative to it, and it gives the fish something they ain't never seen before. So uh, the Bomba, excited to use this this year. I've got a bunch of them in different colors in here, and that's going to be a strong player in my game because I know you got to show the fish something different. So. Missile baits, unboxing, pack them back up. We gotta get back on the road.
wait, wait, wait. Before we go, this box, my missile box, was sitting on top of another box. Might as well unbox it right now while I can. So, this is a mystery box. No name on it, but it is full of some goods. This is a company that I paired up with this year, but it's not a company I'm new to. I've been using their products for years now. Love their products. Best I've seen on the market. Um, and without further ado, here it is. Pro Glide. Yes. Pro Glide is making the best cleaning products I've ever used. And I've used a bunch of them. I have used a ton of cleaning products and there's a lot of things I've had to complain about. One, not doing its job. If it's not cleaning, what's the point of getting it? That happens a lot in boat cleaners. They sell you on something, it doesn't perform the way it's supposed to. Two, the smell. A lot of them are vinegar based, acidic based that just stink. Straight up stink. I don't want that stuff on my hands. I don't want it on my boat. Um, I've got a beautiful wife and I want her to pull me close. I don't want her to push me away. So smell is another huge thing to me. Also, um, the amount of product it needs to do its job. You don't want a product that's working, but you, you're putting a lot of that product on there to get it to work. And ProGlide solved all of those problems. Uh, Steve Orem from ProGlide, uh, retired firefighter, uh, owns car washes, got with his chemist and said, hey guys, we can make something better, let's do it. And that's exactly what they did right here. So, we got the Crazy Mist, the Crazy Clean, and the Crazy Slick. Beautiful colors, so you, and different colors, so you can keep track of which one's which. Um, the Crazy Clean, hard water spots, you need to get rid of them. The crazy clean, the purple bottle will get that done. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome cleaner. The crazy slick, the exact opposite. It's a waxer. It's putting a slick coating, a uh, uh, protective coating on the product. And then crazy mist is your good in between. It does both things and it does it well. So if you've got really, really hard spots, go with that cleaner. If you really just want to take your really clean boat, and just give it a protective coating. Go with the, uh, the crazy slick. But the mist, if you want something that's all around, can get the job done, can save you money, smell great, uh, protect your investment, go with the green bottle, the crazy mist, it'll get it done. But they also have some awesome microfibers. I've used a lot of microfibers in my day. This is the deal this this black one right here is super thick um it's, i don't even know what it's how it's different than other ones but it's got like this um long strand super thick uh material and this one when you're putting it on there it you can't even tell you've really used product because it's it's got so much saturation ability to it um, and then it comes with the, you know, your more traditional uh, microfibers inside of there. Super great microfibers. I haven't really seen anything as, as good or, or as awesome as, as that black one right there. I really love that one. Um, and then I have got this year a bunch of demo bottles to give people. So if you see me out on the road, and you say, hey, give me some of that Pro Glide. I've got it for you. I got a bunch of the, the um, different crazy mess. I got a bunch of the different samples here um, to share with people. Steve hooked me up so that we can get the word out that this is the best cleaner. I know it, he knows it. We need everybody else to know it. So Pro Glide, you need to check them out. ProGlide.com. They are carried by a lot of retailers. Tackle Warehouse carries it. Um, I'm trying to get it in an English Choice Marine because I know it's the best. I would love for my dealership to carry it. So, Pro Glide, check them out. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be disappointed, guaranteed. On to the road. So here we are, day one here at Sam Rayburn. We just got here at the ramp. 
Uh, sun's starting to pop up enough. I'm gonna wait just a little bit. I want it to be where I can see across the water pretty good. I don't wanna run into some standing timber, something that I didn't have a clue was there, a marker buoy get hung up uh, my prop. Don't wanna do that. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna share with you another unboxing. See that? Angler's Choice Marine. So if you don't know about Angler's Choice Marine, they have a huge selection and because they're new to the market of online retailers they don't get picked through like when they had the berkeley credge um i guess that's how you pronounce it berkeley credge uh, selling frenzy on tackle warehouse angler's choice um had some in stock for a little while you could have got your hands on some so but they got sold out too eventually everybody sniffs out that kind of stuff but Keep them in mind, you can get some premium stuff, some overlooked stuff, and that's what I'm gonna show you right here. Some overlooked stuff um, from them, and you can use my code DH10 to get 10% off of any, any of your order at acmtackle.com, Angler's Choices Premium Tackle Store. But, long box in here. See that? Mega Bass X Crew. Oh, I had it wrong way. X Crew. That is the beauty of ACM Tackle is they have a lot of stuff you can't find anywhere else. You look for these anywhere else, you're not going to find them. Uh, a lot of Mega Bass stuff. Unreal selection of jerk baits. ACM Tackle has that kind of stuff. I got some of the X Crews before I came down here. Um, they're good for uh, deep to Mickey rigging style fishing um, but there's a lot of great tackle over there at acm tackles you need to check out um, you don't want to miss out on such a great opportunity to get in now while it's the store's re really starting to grow but it's still relatively unknown and you can find some great stuff uh, before it's sold out before anybody else gets their hands on it so go check them out acmtackle.com 10 percent off with dh10 get you some goodies just like that all right i'm getting ready to launch here sam rayburn the next unboxing is something you've got to have so this is by far the best rain suit you can get for the money guaranteed so striker Striker brand. There's the S striker right there. Striker brand rain suits. They make phenomenal stuff. Um, the price tag on the stuff. Look at that missile patch on there. The price tag on the stuff is for their premium, their best of the best, is like two sixty nine. You can't beat that. There are companies out there making five, six, seven hundred dollar. Um, pieces of rain suit apparel and this right here for 269 a piece you know the jackets one piece and the bibs are one piece 269 you can't beat the price tag on it so but reason it's unboxing is because I haven't opened up I haven't opened up the jacket yet I like, that, I like that soft bag packaging. There's my invoice. There's the jacket. Anything about it? Just get it out here. lightweight I like that I always like a lightweight rain suit because you don't want a super heavy duty rain suit because it will make you hot if you fish warm tournaments you fish in spring summer uh, early fall 
you're gonna get hot in a thick rain suit. So I like them light, I like the layer up underneath it. It's exactly what this striker adrenaline is. Super lightweight, 100% um, waterproof. 100% uh, waterproof, 100% uh, breathable, super great. Best of the best, they, they know what they're doing. Um, I don't know how they're keeping the price so low, but take advantage of it, guys. Striker rain suits. Check them out. Here we are on the iconic Sam Rayburn Reservoir, the bridge right there behind me. Um, I'm going to do this unboxing real quick because we're here in the middle of practice for the invitationals, and I just want to show you real quick this product line and why I love them so much. So Fish Monkey Gloves, and they don't make just gloves, and I'm going to show you here. Uh, they've got a lot of good stuff out there. So, first up, the blockers. Oops, flip the label around. The blockers. Great mid-weight uh, jersey-ish style glove. But what sets these apart from a jersey glove is they have those grips. Um, grabbing your steering wheel, grabbing your rods, grabbing anything. Uh, those grips right there are super, super great for just putting your hands on stuff and, and, and grabbing it. Um, they also have a little slit, I don't know if you can see it right there, on the pointer finger and on the thumb so you can slip your fingers out if you don't want to have fingers while you're fishing a spinning rod or if you, you, want, I mean, you want to have your fingers exposed. That's what these gloves are good for. Um, great, great gloves. Um, I really love these the past couple of years. Uh, also, mesh bag. It's open so that you can put your gloves in and they can dry out. You don't want wet, uh, prolonged, any type of uh, material because it's gonna start uh, getting mildew, stinking. It's just gonna, it's not gonna be good for, for the, the product. So, mesh bags, the suits were awesome. Excited to have them this year. These, I don't know if you see it right there, Self Dry Tech. These gloves are phenomenal when it gets cold outside. Uh, I obviously don't need them right now out here, but super, super great gloves for cold, cold weather. Insulated, uh, 3M Thinsulate right there. Um, still have the great, this great textures that uh, Fish Monkey gloves have. Um, just super, but still mobile gloves. That's the main thing. You don't want gloves that are so stiff that you can't cast, you can't steer your boat, you can't put your trolling motor in the water, you can't do that stuff. So these still have great mobility. Uh, super awesome gloves. Another pair of blockers. I love the blockers. We got new Fish Monkey socks. These are the Guide Series, uh, so like the... Um, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying, got my head in a blank right now. So they're, they're like your tennis shoe socks, you know, the short top, crew top socks. Um, but they also have the wool, heavy duty, and they have mid weights. So they got a bunch of different types. They got a bunch of different cuts, boot cuts, uh, ca uh, calf cuts. They got a bunch of different types, styles, uh, colors, fish monkey. Um, the thing I like most about these is going to make it different than another pair of gloves is quality. They, when they jumped into this, they jumped in it full fledged and decided I'm going to do this right. And they did not disappoint. They are making great quality, uh, super thick, stretchy, elastic material that'll last this right here. I, that's what it is. A tab, no show. I don't know why I couldn't think of that, but tab, no show socks. Um, all the way up to your uh, heavyweight boot crews. They got the socks now. Really excited to be wearing these this year. Got several pairs of these. I don't know if you've seen these before, but these are the half finger guide gloves. So half finger guide glove, what it does is it's already, it's already cut off on its fingers. You can see that right there. It's already cut off on its fingers. So that you can have your fingertips, but like that much of your fingertip exposed, so you can cast your spinning rod, so you can um, uh, tie your lines, you can do fine, um, minute stuff that you need to do with your fingertips. It allows that to happen, but it's 
still protects most of your hand from uh, getting hooks, getting fish fins, uh, sun protection, all of those things. Uh, still has the good grips that Fish Monkey has. All their products have the good grips. Uh, and this being the longer length, they have they have different lengths of gloves. So they have stubbies that are a lot shorter. Um, this being the longer length, uh, I found that when it gets really hot outside, I'm wearing less clothing. I'm, I might just be wearing just my jersey. I might be wearing just a, a sun shirt. A lot of times those sleeves will kind of, when I'm fishing, they'll come up like that. But this, this keeps that part of your wrist protected. Um, they do make also stubbies that are shorter. I use those too. I love those, um, especially when it's a little bit a little bit uh, colder, and I'm wearing a jacket, and you know I got a little a little more uh, protection right here because it's a little thicker. It's not gonna slide down. Um, I can wear those stubbies and not have that wrist slip protection that I needed. Um, super great gloves, also all the all the same style of gloves, half fingers, um, uh, some protection, uh, just protecting you from the elements, protecting you from fish fins, uh, fish scales, uh, cutting you, any of that stuff. Keeps your fish thumb from getting really bad where you start having pain. That's that's the main reason I wear fish monkey gloves is because they protect your hands. They protect a part of your body that's very important for fishing. So what else we got here? Sun buffs. I'm getting ready to slap one of these on. So sun buffs, fish monkey does theirs just like with everything, to another level. They put big vent holes all in the mouth area so you don't fog up your glasses, so you don't fog up um, your glasses, especially when you're running down the lake and you 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 have to see what you're doing. The you, last thing you want is your your uh, glasses to get fogged out when you're going 70 miles an hour. So um, vent holes and uh, a super long neck on it so it gets your neck very protected. Um, and it's it's curved for your your head it's not like a straight shoot so it doesn't feel like it's super compressed in the top and bottom it's it's it curves with your body so fish monkey buffs performance face guards whatever you want to call them great 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 products and then in this box last thing is the fish monkey yeti this right here is just like the buff for your neck for your face, for the first half of your face, protect all this up here. Uh, vintage, same way, same holes, but this is a thicker fleece style. So when it's really cold outside, this will keep your face warm. So Fish Monkey, check them out. They have some great stuff.